Hello, my name is Jack Dolls. I'm the director of training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to bring you a 3G open butt 6010 root 7018 filling cap. And uh, before we get started on that, let's go over how the setup of it is. So, one thing you first what you want to do is you want to get your plate, you want to clean it all up on the front side and on the back side of the plate, about a half inch back or so, something like that. And then you got your bevel that's already been cut. Now you got to put land on. What, what is land? Well, basically, land is a flat part right on the bevel. So you got your bevel that comes to the knife edge. So what I've done is I laid it in the flat position, I tacked it down like this, and then I took my grinder like so, and I went across it nice and smooth, back and forth, nice and consistent. And then what you're looking for is a 1 8 land all the way down. You're looking for it to be as wide as a 1 8 rod. So what I like to do is I take a 1 8 rod and I actually make sure it's a 1 8 land all the way down. I'll, see, I'll check it and I'll make sure it's right. And once I make sure that I've got a good 1 8 land all the way down, well then I'll tack them up. And so what I did is I went ahead and tacked them up. We've got a nice little gap in here, 1 8 land going. And so we're going to run this in the vertical position. I'm going to run a 6010 root around about 84 or so on the amperage. Um, and once again, it's all about the keyhole, okay? It's all about keeping a nice tight arc length in there. If you're starting to uh, long arc, and what I mean by long arc is actually getting the rod farther away from the metal. The farther you get it away from the metal, what's going to start to happen? It's going to create a bigger hole. Okay, and when you get a bigger hole, then you cause yourself more problems. You have to start moving more and starting to try to do different things to try because you're getting a big keyhole. So it's all about prevention. Let's prevent it from getting to be a big keyhole, okay? And I can show you tips and tricks on that another time. But right now, we're just focused on actually running this project out. This is a certification test. Uh, we have a lot of people that come to our campus in Jacksonville and do certifications. So uh, I wanted to have, I want to take a few minutes and show you how to do one and go through the process. So, like I said, we got everything set up. We got our gap right. We got our land right. Machine set on 84. We're on DC positive. So uh, let's give it a go. Ready? You can hear that sound, that roaring. That's what you want to listen for. Hearing it roaring. You can see every time I step away from my keyhole, I always come down and get it. Once it stops following you, then come back and get it. Come back down and touch it. Okay, we got our root in there. And if you'll look, look how nice and tight it is in there. Okay, look and see how it's not eating away all the bevels onto the sides. I'm actually going to show you on this one as we get up towards the top. I'm going to show you some of the don'ts where you can see what happens whenever you long arc and you whip it and flaring it out. And you can see how bad it messes it up. So I'll run another good pass and then on the top portion, you know, maybe about that much, maybe an inch or so, I'll go ahead and mess it up just because I want you to be able to see what it's like, okay? So, right now what you should do is take your grinder and grind that down so you can make a nice clean tie-in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go on with it, but you should take your grinder and clean that down, make a nice little boat ramp, ramp, you know, slope it down in there so you can easily make a tie-in. Right? Here you go. Okay, so it's getting a little tight on us here, as you can tell. So let's go ahead and turn it up. If it's getting so tight and you got it buried up in there and it's not uh, wanting to penetrate through, just stop, okay? Just stop, turn the amperage up. It will make a hole, I promise you. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little don'ts. 
since I've already kind of got this thing going that direction. So I'm going to show you a little don'ts in here. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it up. I'm going to make a mess out of this just to show it to you. I'm going to crank it up pretty good, maybe 100, 305. We're going to get the keyhole going, and then what you'll see is I'll start the long arc, and you'll see that we're going to make a pretty good size hole. And once I get that big old hole, then i got to really start moving it and whipping it, trying to control it. Uh, and it will it's going to get to be pretty bad. So let's do it. I'm going to start the long arc. Now you can see it. Now it's starting to make a hole. You can see how it's making really just ripping open. I'm having to really step it because it's starting to really rip open. And that's where you have too much heat. Your long arcing in there. It's ripping open a big old keyhole. It's not what you want. Okay, that's not what you want to do. So keep a nice tight arc length the whole time. Keep it in there, nice and consistent, nice smooth steps. Watch your keyhole. Make sure you're reading that puddle. Like I say, if the puddle's small and keyhole's small, stay close to it. If the, if the puddle's starting to grow and keyhole's getting bigger, you're going to have to start moving, getting farther away from it. It's where you can control it. So uh, we'll go ahead and clean this all up and get it ready for filling cap. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put in this root. So we have got our 6010 root in there. And if you can see in there, you can see how nice and tight it is down into the groove. That's what you're looking for. You want it to be down in there nice and tight. You don't want all the smoke and splatter and stuff on the outside. That's a telltale sign that you're long arcing it whenever you have smoke and splatter all scattered, all scattered, on, the, all scattered on the outside out here. So, you know, um, just keep it nice and tight the whole time you're running 6 to 10, okay? That's the key to this. Keep it nice and tight, keep it smooth, keep it, cons keep, keep it consistent. And you too can run a nice route like this as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to clean this all up and then we'll come back and uh, run a fill and cap, okay? <laughs> Okay, so we got it all cleaned up in there. It's all nice and shiny in there. Got all of our uh, little highs and lows out. And now we're gonna go back in and run with a 7018, not this one, because it's all broke. But we're gonna come back in, we're gonna run 7018. I'm gonna run a little weave pattern in here. We'll call it an oscillation pattern. It's not so much a weave, it's just moving a little bit side to side. Gonna put a quick little hot pass in there, make sure we're getting it all tied in, burned in nice and smooth, so. Uh, let's put a nice little fill pass in here, hot pass. We're going to run it around 90 or so and lay it in there nice and smooth. Here we go.
She's getting hot. She's getting hot up there. Stop there. Oh, stop right there. Watch your eyeballs, fellas. Okay, so we got it nice and filled up, nice and flush there. Then we're gonna come back and put our cap on it here. And like I said, I'm just gonna do a little side to side action, pausing just slightly on the sides, making sure I'm washing over the beveled edge so I don't leave any undercut or anything like that. So uh, we're gonna run it in here and uh, Run some nice smooth beads right up here and put a nice pretty cap on. Okay, so now we have finished out our uh, 3G 6010 root 7018 certification test. You got it all looking good. We got the slag peeling up here. Uh, it's looking good down there. There's no undercut, nice smooth beads all the way up. Let's get the slag out of the way where you can see it all. And so it's all looking good. I just need to clean it up here. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Okay, as you can see, it's all looking good. Nice smooth beads, everything's tied in, no undercut. So this is how you make a uh, 3G 6010 7018 uh, certification test. This is how you do it. And like I say, it really just depends on making sure you got your gap, your prep right, little things. Making sure all those things are done right makes the welding so much easier. But if you don't, do your, if you don't put in the time, you don't do it the right way, you're going to end up with uh, lots of problems and it's going to make it harder on yourself. So thank you for watching and um, looking forward to hearing from you. If you need something or you have information, want information, please reach out to Tulsa Welding School. Be glad to help you and thank you. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.